Right, today we're going to take a look at the Arteco Woodless Watercolor Pencil Set. Premium, 24 colors. And this comes with a sketch pad. And they come in a very sturdy <coughs> box. And let's see if we get this out of here. It's actually quite a thick 50 sheets <coughs> of 68 pound premium sketch, acid free. It says spiral bound. <laughs> I think that's a, <clears throat> a mistake as it is obviously not a spiral bound. It says it has a fine tooth service, ideal for dry media. Um, so probably not the best thing for testing watercolor pencils on. <clears throat> Little piece of foam in there. Yeah, let's turn these so we can take a look. Pretty standard set of colors. And it looks like they have four in each one of the little pockets here. I'm not sure how they come out. <clears throat> I mean, obviously we can lift the pencils themselves up out. As with all woodless pencils, they do have a good heft to them. And these look like they are covered with a, a lacquer exterior. And they sharpen just like any other pencil. <clears throat> I'm actually quite fond of the woodless colored pencils because they uh, obviously you get a lot more uh, bang for the buck in them but um, you know you can really lay down a lot of color. I actually, let me see if I have one over here, <clears throat> one of my favorite are the Progresso um, standard woodless um, colored pencils and I buy boxes of the black for sketching and keep them on hand. All right, so we want to take a look and see how these pencils perform. Let me get some watercolor paper. All right, so I took the time to pry those up out of the box um, and set them down while I was getting this uh, watercolor, watercolor paper card, <clears throat> just because it's easier to get them out of there that way. And um, I'm sure that everyone will probably has figured this out already, but a little trick for whenever you have pencils in trays like this. So if you gently push on the tip, it'll lift up the end and you can pick them out rather than trying to do this, which just doesn't work. <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's do some quick sketching on this watercolor paper with these. Um, they have a feel that seems pretty similar to any other colored pencil. Um, a little bit creamy actually. Um, they don't scratch, let's put it that way. <clears throat> now as you can see this is a highly textured watercolor paper. I'm just going to lay a few colors down and then see how these blend with water. Now <clears throat> one thing with any um, watercolor pencil is that you really don't want to press super super hard um, and I'll show you the reason why we'll, we'll do some real hard work here because um, usually that line won't completely lift <clears throat> which is okay if you don't want it to um, but if you do obviously you're going to have a problem all right, let's get some water on a brush and let's just see how these react to water. Well, this brush is just slightly damp <clears throat> and as you can see actually these these colors are dispersing quite nicely. Um, I'm actually very surprised. Most inexpensive uh, watercolor pencil sets do not disperse well um, when you wet them. At the most they might, you know, slightly liquefy, um, but they never like completely disperse. But these seem to be doing fairly nicely. Well, let's see what happens on that heavy line. As you can see it 
actually is dispersing fairly well, even though I really pressed it down hard into the paper, which is extremely surprising to me. Um, I would not have expected this with an inexpensive watercolor pencil. But as you can see, it did do very well. Now let's see about re-wetting. And let's see how it reacts to blotting and lifting. I'll tell you what, that's actually pretty amazing for an inexpensive set of watercolor pencils. Um, you can see it dispersed nicely, it lifted back off nicely. I mean, these are acting just like a watercolor or a more expensive watercolor pencil. Let's just come in here again on that edge and see if we can scrub it out. Well, there is some of a shadow left there, but it's pretty amazing how nicely these disperse. Now, light fastness, I wouldn't count on it. Um, I wasn't going to do a whole bunch more light fast tests that I was going to post at least, but these, because they actually work so very well, I think that I am going to do a, a swatch and um, put them to the test and see how they perform. I don't have high expectations, um, but you know, it's worth having a look. Um, and now just for comparison so that you can see, you know, this was the very inexpensive Arteco woodless watercolor pencil set. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and grab a professional watercolor pencil. Now these are one of the best watercolor pencils that money can buy. These are the, and I know I'm going to say this wrong, the Albrecht Durer uh, Magnus. Uh, Magnus just meaning that these are the um, larger version of their regular watercolor pencils. Um, these are Faber or Farber Castell, Faber Castell, um, made in Germany. Let's lay some of this down. And let's do a, a hard line with that one. And then let's put a little bit of this one with a hard line on that side. Blend in. And then let's see how they compare to the inexpensive ones. Again, the brush is just damp. Now you can see that the color saturation is, is pretty intense on, on the uh, Faber-Castell, which one would expect because it is a professional pencil. And they do dissolve completely. You can also re-wet them and lift them. Now let's bring these up so that you can see the comparison. I am even more impressed with the inexpensive pencils. Now obviously um, my Faber-Castell upper drawers they're going to be what I use for professional works of art because they are light fast tested by the company and um, you know guaranteed they have very good light, light fast ratings. But if you look at simply the performance, how the two different watercolor pencils perform next to each other, there's not that much of a huge difference. Um, so I am seriously impressed with these um, Arteco woodless watercolor pencils. And I would definitely recommend these for anyone that enjoys watercolor pencils um, or watercolor in general. Um, it's kind of like uh, having a watercolor pan in stick form. And you can just go back in and re-wet it and really control how you're um, working with the color.